Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. The Philadelphia 76ers preparing to defend home court in this Eastern Conference battle. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. And Giannis' journey GA. So incredibly compelling, a full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite score because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. Look, some of James Harden's career numbers are crazy. But he's also got a lot of firsts to go along with those overall totals, like the first 60-point triple-double. On the wing, Harris makes it off the glass. And this is why you get Harris the rock inside. They can trust his judgment down there. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Shakes him. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Hello. I mean, that's <laughs> what I call a move. Ooh, that is some artistry. Greg, you're right. On his way to the basket, he was soaring. And Harden was the first player to average 35 points and seven assists in a season. Yeah, and that was in the 2018-19 season. The same year, he was also the first player to score at least 30 points against every other team. No one had done that since the NBA expanded in 2004. Six to shoot. Plays it up and makes it in. Andre DeCumbo's got six. So strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Maxi, no good. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Lopez. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Harden. Harden draws the double. Harris, right side. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. He has five. Capable of playing either guard position. Harden's sense for when his teammates are open is ridiculous. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. He has six. And Anadokounmpo scoops it in. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. To the left side wing. Here's Harris. Milwaukee with the rebound. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. And I can't think of a higher percentage look than that. Uh, Giannis, one of the best ever working inside to the left wing. Tucker can't get it to go. Stolen by Tucker. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Holiday. That one is on Holiday. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. At the line for Philadelphia. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-round. Now oh, here's Giannis. Ten points for him. Shot clock at five. Here's Middleton. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. Harden up top. Out left of the wing. 
Driving in. Yeah, it's a bonus whenever Lopez comes up with the swat. Want to see more of this from the big fella. Six on the shot clock. And Tucker slams it in. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is, willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. Now oh, here's Giannis. Lopez. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Pass to Maxi. Harden outside. Harden draws the double. It's Solomon to Kumbo. And now, here comes Anadokounmpo, leading the break. The wide open look here for Holiday. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And you have to be right up on Holiday. When you're not, he's ready to take those quick shots. Here's Tucker. It's Solomon to Kumbo. Here's Allen. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. That's his Stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Bucks. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here with the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91 matters into his own head. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Now here's Middleton. No points in the game yet for him. The shape. And Lopez throws it down. And even though Lopez has taken his game farther and farther from the basket, he can still punish you inside. Tucker can't get it to go. Greg, and back to the Bucs. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. And that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. Embiid, no good. Here's Young. And the dunk by Giannis. And a terrific offensive display here from Giannis, just reminding us of how dominant he can be. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Kumbo slams it in. Ooh, just shook his man loose with a crafty play inside. And then the dunk just tops it off beautifully. Pass to Embiid. And Harris wide open. He shoots. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Showing the quick hands that time. Harris with the catch and shoot. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxey. That is his first foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. To the middle. And the Kumbo gets it to go. 16 points. For Giannis. Holiday. Knowing it's his responsibility to find open teammates. Holiday, nice job setting the table there. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. We'll take it. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. In for the Bucks, Javon Carter. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. 
unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA, offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. The 76ers trail by three. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Violation. That's a jump ball. Middleton with it. Picked up by Harris. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. And the urgency on Middleton's drive is terrific. The defense seems powerless to stop it. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Out to Carter. The Bucks working the ball around. Left side out of the Kumbo. Hit the crossover. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending goal. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the best. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Pass to Tucker. Out to Harris. The three. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. And you just got to respect Harris's three-point shot. He is a very capable scorer from that distance. Now here's Allen. Now Lopez. Rebounded by Tucker. The 76ers trail by four. Pass to Embiid. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. Really, just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. And here's Carter. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Now here's Young. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Aston Yang down low. And Harrell slams it down home. And once Harrell hits the launching pad, the defense doesn't have a lot of good options, making that jam seem unstoppable. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. The Bucks making a switch here. 76 EMT. Bucks leading by four. Under the Kumbo with the ball. Twenty points for him. And the double up out of Dekumbo. There's Portis. That's tipped. Now Harden. And Harden with the stuff. Athletic move by Harden. Okay, I see you throwing it down on top of the defense. Here's on to Dekumbo. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. And to the Kumbo. And you know, the Anthony Melton's progression as a shooter has been impressive. Yeah, he struggled on the pull-up jumpers early in his career. But he worked at it, and now he's very efficient. His offense is almost as good as his defense at this point. And about the 76ers, Richard, they've been impressive. 
Yeah, they've been on a 50-win pace for about the last five seasons. And with Joel Embiid every single year, you are going to be a contender. This is their window, and they are bringing in the talent to get it done. Chris Middleton. The correct decision by Middleton. Moving to his wide-open teammate, Chris. A terrific passer off the wing. It's Reed high post. Back to Melton for the three. Another three for Philadelphia. The list of guys who have led the league in points and assists, well, it's a short one. That includes James Harden, LeBron, Will Oscar, amongst others. Oh, and out of the Kumbo, hammers it in. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Pass to Melt. And here's Harden. Stolen by Allen. Fast break, Milwaukee. And the double up on Dekumbo. The shot by Middleton, wide open. Chris Middleton. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. And this is what Middleton does. Hit trades. He's one of the best in the league at helping his team space the floor. Got a piece of it. Here's onto Takumbo. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Giannis onto the Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Bucks. He has been at a the Bucks. 40. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. When you consider how the Bucks are doing, what do you guys think? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball is going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Here's Harden on the win. Back to Melton. Clock at six. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Reed misses. Bucks leading by seven. Now here's Adedekumbo. Pass to Portis. Makes it down to Middleton. Giannis inside. And stolen by Harrell. Over to the wing. Over to the left wing. Here's Reed. Here's Nian. Harden outside. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. In the paint, Harden, man. He's just a tough guard. If you get too close, you know that this man is a master at drawing fouls. On the wing, Holiday. Pass to Portis. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree. He still got a good outcome. Here's Portis. Not going to go that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Here. Milton with the ball. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Bangs home the trifecta. And now just a two-point bucks lead. It's crazy. We've gotten used to this effortless dominance from James Harden. He scores in a multitude of ways. Harden outside. 
And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his second. Well, James Harden ball. still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? Taking two shots. Both shots good from the strike. And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injuries. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Adetokounmpo looking over the floor. Over in the corner, Portis. Back to Giannis. And he gets it to go. 33 points for Giannis. I know what they say. Defense wins championships. But you need some bucket getters too now. Back to Harden. To the paint. Here's Reed. And the dunk by Reed. Just a textbook lead pass right there. Putting it right where it needed to be. On the wing, Holiday. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Holiday. And, and Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the charts. Harden's shot is good. Harden's got 17. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Here's onto Takumbo. 33 points for him. Oh, and Takumbo hammers it in. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to the okay, even better, we'll take it. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. A point guard getting up two. like that, boy, that, that is, is first special. Foul. First team foul. And to the Kumbo inside. Denied. And here's Harden. And the jam by Harden. And I'll be honest, he's having a better quarter than a lot of my nights back when I played. Pass to Connaughton. And he says, right back at you with a big dunk of his own. My goodness, he is such a great dunk. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Under Kumbo with the ball. And Portis throws it down. Assisted by. And the passing skills of Giannis continue to improve. His floor awareness has grown through the year. To the inside. Back to Harden. Read a screen. Aston Niang. Offensive rebound. And they had some box coverage that turned Box's into Harris. no coverage. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Milwaukee leading by four. Here's Giannis. And yes, it's good. Onto the Kumbos. Got 37. How about the effort? You, you did think a little contact would prevent Giannis from scoring, did you? And with it, he's got 21. Another miss by Philadelphia. Great, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking it. Just Get him through. the ball anywhere close to the hoop. That thing is over. Hit by Harrell. Shot to stop the run. Rebound, Milwaukee. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. In your younger days, RJ, you had seasons where you averaged over 22 points a game. Some players uh, later in their careers struggled accepting smaller roles. Different shots. As a player, talk about that challenge. 
Self-confidence is a weird one. Sometimes it can work great for you and sometimes it can work against you. For me personally, as I got older, I loved finding the challenge. And the challenge was how could I star in my role? Was it as a 10-point a game score? Was it as a 20-point a game score? Or was it as a 5-point a game score? Because ultimately, you have a chance to have an impact on the game. And I love basketball, so I was going to take any role you were going to give me. What a great answer. You. So in other words, you've always got to evolve. Always get to evolve, and it's always going to be adapt or die, especially as you get older. You have to adapt or your career is going to end. I would have never played 17 years if I didn't adapt. At the line for your six. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And <laughs> wow, Tobias is nice. He's never been an all star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. I'm sure he'll take the trade off. Here's Yas. And the rejection by Embiid. Maxi attacking. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. And Lopez has it in the corner. And they get it back. Giannis left side. Five to shoot. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. And it's blocked! And he keeps control of the ball! Love to see Embiid sliding down shots, taking advantage of his size and frame. Tucker takes it inside. Here's Giannis. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Giannis has got 12 now in this quarter. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. And that one's good, Maxi. I just love when teams make it work down low. Giannis outside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Maxi. Man, with that skill set at 6'11", Giannis might be the toughest guard in the league. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And it's Maxi with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by six. Milton in the corner. Drills it from outside. Five points so far. And they've got to talk to each other on D. They're miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Tucker. 76ers with the new shot clock. Pass to Maxi. to the wing on the left. MB wide open. And the three off target. Bucks leading by five. And Carter has it in the corner. Now on the Kumbo. 43 points in the game. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. Pass to Tucker. Inside, here's Embiid, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. But inside, Embiid just has all the tools for success. The height, the power, and more importantly, the tenacity. Back to Anadokounmpo. That's in there, Carter with the assist. Giannis has got 47 points. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, not so did the defender. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. And the double up on a Dekumbo. Here's Middleton. And that one is good. Middleton. Middleton's got seven points. And I like how Middleton seemed unbothered by the shot contest there. What an effort. Pass to Tucker. 
Wide open. Off the left rim and out. This is the definition of force game. He's trying to get himself going, but taking two shots just won't do it. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Yeah, that's nice execution. Running with purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. And he slams it one-handed. You can see the evolution of Giannis as a passer. He's gotten good at thinking for himself and his team. Throw it down, big man. You gotta love seeing him be nice up and just throw it down. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Connaughton with it. Maxi covering. Back to Giannis. Giannis is double. In the corner, Middleton with it. The way up missed. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Here's Tucker. Drives oh, to the hoop. And Tucker slams it in. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Here's Giannis. Giannis Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Giannis has got 53. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. The 76ers trailed by eight. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. And after the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. And Giannis throws it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Out to the right wing. Here's Tucker. Another three for Philadelphia. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three three time. Too long in the paint. He's hit with a three-second violation. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. 76% from the line a season ago. And the technical free throw is good. Here's Antetokounmpo. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And I feel like one of the more underrated aspects of Embiid's game is his passing. He understands that teams are going to bring two, sometimes three. You have to make quick decisions with the ball when that happens. Embiid, he embraces that challenge. Now, he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. For three, Middleton. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Out to the wing. Back to Embiid. Pass to Tucker. For three, Harris. Trains it from beyond the arc. Harris has got 16. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. And I bet he's thinking that he can close the gap completely if he can keep those threes coming. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. we got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes we're going to execute the game plan. Sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. And he sinks the second. 
And from College of the Pros, Richard, you played for some legendary coaches. And speaking of coaching, is that something you've ever entertained doing? I never have, and I <laughs> never will. Coaching, the amount of hours that you have to spend sounds exhausting. I love my job right now, and you know why I love my job? Because I get to work with you. Oh, listen, the feeling's mutual. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? That's Pretty second. impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying Sixers with everything they went through, even though he He's came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Yes. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Embiid the screen. Just five on the clock. For the lead. He gets that one to drop. He's now five and twelve. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. And Tucker slams it in. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Timeout called the Bucks. And that is the Philadelphia 76ers. BNT, everybody. Bucks trail by three. Once again. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Looking to end the run. Jordan and he gets the jumper to drop. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Harris. Left side, Maxi. Lopez with the block. Giannis outside. Here's Nora. Kicks it out to Allen. Shot clock at six. Second chance shot. And out of Kumbo lays it up and in. Giannis has got 57 points. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his third personal foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Philadelphia. 76ers trailing. Now here's Milton. He has seven. Pass to Tucker. Outside, Maxi. Back to Tucker. Launches it. That will fall for his seventh bucket. Seven for 15 in this game. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Outside, on the Kumbo. Kicks it out to him. Here's onto Takumbo. That one goes in. Giannis has got 59 points. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. Here's Tucker. Outside, Maxi. Off with the layup. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. 
And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. Third team foul. That's his first foul. Philadelphia on D. Here's Nora. At the honest. Five on the clock. Pass to Lopez. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Lopez has got six. And I love it when Lopez attacks inside. Even with contact, he can find a way to score. That's the fourth personal foul. Third team foul. Substitution for your 76ers. And here is Milton. Here's Reed. Another miss by Philadelphia. Down is right, folks. Non-stop scoring machine here. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. That's his first. Just simply overpowers the defense. Giannis flexing the muck. Susie's added to that near seven foot frame. Shooting one. And that one misses. The 76ers trailed by four. Pass to Melton. No good from outside. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that position. And now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. So he picks up just one from the line that time. You know, Greg, you can make the case Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked just one all-star game. But Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. Yes, this is a pivotal moment in this game. Those extra possessions right now, they just mean a little bit more. Right on the bucket. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. Oh, yeah, I can't agree more. They haven't missed. Pass to Reed. A three ball. It's rebounded by Drew Howard. And the Bucks with possession. They're on a 17-point to five run. Assisted. And this offense is in a perfect Holiday. rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their I'm plays. Call for right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Here they come. And Philadelphia calls time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. The 76ers trail by 11. Here's Harden. Off target at the rim. Giannis outside. And they double up on Dekumbo. Portis for three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Picked his pocket. Holiday with it. And it's Harden picking him up. Here's Giannis. Giannis out and Giannis out of the Kumbo throws it down hard. Uh, an amazing athlete. The, the length, speed, uh, the Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. Yes, that goes in. And this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Here's Holiday. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Muscly through contact. Holiday has the strength and body control to do it. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Milwaukee. Pass to Reed. Harden trying to get open. Reed misses. And so Holiday will bring it up for the bus. 
Giannis and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. It's just hard to match up with Antetokounmpo's speed, especially in the open floor. Now, Reed. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Right side, Portis. From past the arc, and it's Giannis missing. The 76ers trail by 16. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right. Right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Harden's shot is off. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Holiday with the ball. And the Holiday. slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Man, Holiday puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Often it's with his scoring, but right there, making a play for someone else. A nice shot by Reed. This is why you always have to chase guys off the arc because everyone has a three-point shot. And they double up Giannis. Allen outside. Holiday looking for an opening. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Defense should expect this from Harden. He rarely misses a chance to draw That's a shooting foul. Personal foul. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Free throw shooting, not an area he has worried about at all. How about last year? 88% from the line. Stolen by Harden. And Harden with the stop. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And they need more where that came from. They're not out of this hole yet. Middleton on the wing. Fires from deep. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. And this is Middleton's game. He's thinking of shooting it even before the pass hits his hand. <laughs> Look at the handles. <laughs> Gets through the D and then powers it. Such a pretty move inside. Clark, how do you stop that? Sinks the triple. Three Middleton's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Bucks. And that's his game. Middleton knows he's out there to shoot the rock whenever he gets a good look. For real, come at us and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Here's Hansen Takumbo. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. Nobody near Allen. Kick out to Giannis. And the jam by Hansen Takumbo. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. For your Sixers, Paul Reed. And he's good on the second. Seventeen seconds left to play in the third. Antetokounmpo with the ball. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. One second left. And that's the final possession with the nice defense right there. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Milwaukee on top. They lead by... And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Bucks leading by 13. It's Carter, high post. Pass to Giannis. Out to Carter. Now, here's Connaughton. That one misses. Some solid defense from Reed. On the wing, Melton. And that one is off. 
And Milwaukee will come the other way. They led by as many as 18 points. Carter outside. Now, Connaughton. Portis. Bobby Portis. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Portis has got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Bucks. Here's Harden. He trains the quick shot. Whenever it's hard in running pick and rolls, you have to stop the ball first, ladies and gentlemen, or he will get you. Here's Portis. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. Portis has got four points now in the quarter. And the efficiency is there, but the aggressiveness is really lacking. So far, it hasn't hurt them, though. Here's Harden. That one drops for him. 34 points for James Harden. I'm just going to say this. I don't think the average fan understands how strong Harden is. He has no problem finishing through contact with those wide shoulders. And Portis throws it down. Uh oh, reverse at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Here's Reed. Rebounded by the Bucks. Down low. Fouled in the end. 